This tutorial was brought to you thanks to the supporters on the screen. Check out tapjiles.com to find more Dreams resources, donate to support my work, or engage my services to get private instruction or help on a project one on one. Go into play mode, now I have two controllers. I guess one is a. Oh, it's a frog, but those are legs. I see. So one's a frog and one's my normal thing. If you want to play stuff on the Dreamiverse, though, you'll have to, in the second controller, also log in to PSN with like a different account. Um, so that it'll allow you to use PSN and so allow you to use the Dreamiverse. If you have more than one possessed object, whether that's a puppet or some other object, then the default camera will try to keep them both in view. So if I just put down a puppet, here's the default camera, and it's just around one puppet. If you have another puppet, then it still stays around uh, one of the puppets. I think usually the oldest one that's created. It's, it actually uses the controller sensor. So if I go like this and add a controller sensor, this uh, comes in by default as being possessable, which means you can orbit around it because it actually orbits around the controller sensor gadget or whatever objects it's kind of connected to. So if I now put that onto a block, and just surface snap it. Now we're orbiting around the front of that block. So the front of the block is like in the middle of the picture there. Um, and you can affect like, uh, if you set it to 50%, it will be at the 50% of that block. So now, that, so now that's more kind of central. But if you set it to higher, normally it's at 60% so that it's uh, instead of the middle of the puppet, it's kind of at the neck uh, area that it focuses on. And now we're kind of focused uh, above it. And because it's uh, possessable over here, we can possess it with R2. And now I possess that object. And it can't move around or whatever because we haven't set up any logic for it. But also we can have a second object over here and now if I possess this one then the other controller can possess this one and now you can see the um, the view adjust so if either of us push uh, on the right stick we're both controlling the same camera uh, but it tries to kind of keep us both in the in view and we can move independently of each other and it will kind of zoom out to try and keep us in frame so if I, if I keep moving further and further it's trying to it's starting to struggle to uh, keep us both in view so we keep going so at some point it just follows the one that's uh, the the first player I guess you can also use the camera pointer over here so this kind of sets the angle of that default camera normally and with multiplayer it does as well so now if I go into play mode I can't use the right stick to rotate and it's just you're always using that angle and like both players can move around and neither player can change the angle uh, and if I tweak this to maybe top down or something then it all works the same and also the zoom multiplier will work too for multiplayer just as normal there's a setting in the global settings gadget called adjust camera zoom so you turn this on and then you can use this uh, multiplayer max camera zoom so that's how far back it can get from the players um, that's like the maximum amount so if we make that smaller and I'm just going to I'm just going to tweak the controller sensors so that they auto possess and just one of them will possess with the first player and one of them will possess with the second player. But you can actually set which player is which by kind of turning these off. So now that can only be the first player, for example. But I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so I'll move away. 
So now it's not moving back nearly as far. It's moving back very uh, small amount. And if we tweak that and make it larger, it can move back a lot more. Whoa. And uh, it looks like it prefers to be further back as well when you're uh, playing multiplayer. So you can adjust that. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to get 5 hours of tutorials early for $3. Here's a preview of what you can learn if you choose to become a supporter.